I just saw your guys Yu-Gi-Oh anime tier lists in general. What the hell were you thinking? Don't get so turnt, Donnie. Yeah, I think our lists were pretty solid. Zexel and First Barack? Are you kidding me? That show was hot garbage and you know it. Look, just because you couldn't stand Yuya's English voice actor doesn't mean the show was bad. You want to talk about bad voice actors? Take a look at Vrains. Everyone in the show sounds like they either just woke up or going Kaioken. Shut up. Donald Vrains was objectively a good show. Joe, you're objectively a loser. All right, Donnie. What's on your top five since you hated R so much? You can't handle the Trumpster taste in anime. It's too peak. It'll scorch your skin off. Shut up and tell us your list already. All right, number five goes to the original. Yeah, I can get behind that. I'm talking about season zero. Donald, you're a fucking poser. You know that. I've read and watched season zero. No, you didn't. You saw the same Jay Witz video we all did like two years ago, and now you want to flex like you knew it was Kino the whole time. I can name every episode and chapter in order by name. You want to see that? Nobody wants to Donnie. What's your number four? Number four is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. That was my favorite. Joe, we've got to talk about that later. Donnie, are you really putting sevens on the top five list in general. You can't tell me one person who isn't on a watch list who saw that show and genuinely enjoyed it. The duels were amazing and different. Rush duels gaining popularity is the definition of fighting back versus the ruling class of master duels. It's peak fighting the system. Donald, you are literally white. Number three, I just gotta say it, 5D. You've gotta explain how this isn't at least top two for you. You know, everyone has different tastes. Let's hear them out. I put this as number three myself. I like the taste of chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Shut up, Joe. Nobody cares. First couple seasons were peak. I mean, you say literally fought his way out of prison. You gotta respect that. My brother, you say stays strapped. I'll tell you what. But at the end, it really just felt like they tacked on an extra season for no reason that made no sense. Come on, there was some payoff. I mean, the Bruno v. You say duel. Are you telling me that didn't move you to tears? Bruno was an underdeveloped character, and you know it. The only reason people gave a fuck was because he looked like he came out of a 2012 How to Draw anime guide. Plus, you gotta admit, you say not getting together with Akiza at the end was pretty ridiculous. Number two, gotta be dual monsters. I'm sorry, but not sorry, but I gotta speak my truth. Are you serious, Donnie? This laid the foundation of everything good Yu-Gi-Oh has given us. Yo, you put this as your number two as well. What are you on about? I just really like the characters in Yu-Gi-Oh sevens. Yo, I swear to God, this is why we don't bring you to locals with us anymore. Aw, shucks. I'm sorry, it's just too inconsistent. It's too all over the place. Even as a kid, I was confused when I watched this. Like, what are the rules? It ruined a generation of duelists. Are you saying you've never read the Yu-Gi-Oh rule book? You're right, all right. What's your number one? Number one. You know it gotta be GX, baby. Oh, definitely. GX was pretty goaded. I've gotta change my tier list after this. The themes, the characters, the duels, everything about it was amazing. Plus, watching it with the sub in season four, nothing else comes close. How old is Cyrus, by the way? 